my name is Kitsy Dingley, and welcome to another episode of the Kansas City Woodworkers Guild ongoing series of machine safety videos. Today's video will introduce you to the safety concerns of the Shopbox 15 inch wide belt sander. Keep in mind that like all safety videos, this video only covers the safety concerns of the Shopbox wide belt sander and is not a complete training program for the use of this sander. When in the shop, please direct any questions about using this or any other machine to the shop foreman. He or she is there as your main resource to keep you safe and provide assistance in completing your project successfully. And always remember, the most important of safety concerns is to wear approved safety glasses with side shields at all times while in our shop. The wide belt sander is for sanding any wide flat panels on your project. The Shop Fox sander uses a 15 inch wide sanding belt. This sander also has an open end design so that you could sand panels wider than 15 inches. However, this practice is not encouraged because our shop has other wide belt sanders capable of sanding panels up to 37 inches in one pass. To ensure that your stock contacts the feed rollers, the minimum length of any stock being fed into the shop fox sander is 14 inches, and the minimum thickness is 3 16 of an inch. Sanding stock to a thick thickness that is less than 3 16 of an inch is possible, but to prevent damage to the machine and your project, you must use a backer board. There are no in-feed and out-feed tables on any of our Y belt sanders, so that you must make sure that the area is clear on both the in-feed and the out-feed sides of the table. The control panel consists of the following. Power indicator light, feed table on and off buttons, sanding belt on and off buttons, and an emergency stop button. Note also the emergency stop panic bar at the end of the in-feed side of the feed belt table. Emergency stop buttons and bars are for the immediate stopping of the machine, as in case of an emergency. Do not use them in the regular process of shutting down the machine, as the process is abrupt and it's hard on the machine. To get started, turn on the air supply to the sander, start the dust collector, adjust the table height to material thickness, raising the table until the stock has resistance sliding under the pressure roller. Turn on the feed belt, turn on the sanding belt. Be careful not to allow your fingers or clothing to get pinned between the board and the feed belt. Feed pieces individually through the sander. Do not feed multiple pieces through at the same time to prevent kickback of one or more pieces. Feed the stock flat on the belt, supporting the free end. Support the free end of the stock as it exits the machine as well. The wide belt sander is for finished sanding, not for thickness reduction. The sander can only move small amounts of material per pass. The table is raised by turning the hand wheel on the side. The hand wheel has bumps on the inside of the wheel. The maximum change of thickness is one bump on the wheel. Making a pass that removes a lot of stock causes poor sanding results and may in fact destroy the sanding belt cause a kickback or damage your project. When you've finished your sanding, turn off the sander in the following order. Sanding belt, feed belt, dust collector, and air supply. Don't forget to clean up your work area. This is Kitsy Dingley, and thanks for watching.